What's up, insiders? Today we're going to be going over the Omir O1 pod. This is the first pod that I know of from Omir. The big question is, how does this one stack up against all the other pod systems on the market? Omir's got a track record of making some good stuff. Can they do it with a pod? Make sure you watch the whole review, find out exactly what I think. Before we get into the video, make sure you check out our new merch site. You can get my tagline on a shirt or a hoodie. Looks like it only comes with one pod. Really, Omir? That is a con right off the jump. Right off the jump, you guys screwed up. You can't do one pod. It's a bad move. It's stupid. I'm sick of saying it, all right? But that's what it looks like we have here, one pod. The good news is, looks like they made the pod pretty clear. Here is the actual mod itself. Very, very fingerprint magnet type of finish, all right? That rainbow finish, okay? Don't hit me with the comments that it's all schmutzy after I handle it for a couple of minutes. It's just the way it is. Got some Omia branding over here. Fire button, LED, battery indicator in the middle of the fire button there. All right, not much going on here. O1 over there. Charge port on the bottom. I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's a regular pod system. Inside the mod here, you can see we got four magnets. All right. Got two gold-plated pins. They're going to coincide with the two gold-plated contacts over here. That's what's actually going to fire your coil. Pod fitment is pretty nice. Goes in there pretty easy. No movement, no wiggle. I do like that. I really like the fact that the pod is clear and you can actually see your e-juice level. I do like that a lot. Now, as far as the pod goes, no markings on it as to what the pod is oming out at. I would have liked to have seen that somewhere over here. All right, there is your fill port right there. Okay, you're going you're gonna to want to lift it up from here, from the back. It does stay attached. I do like that. Nice job on that. Juice we're going to be using today is Vape Wild's RY4. This is 6 milligrams. I like to use RY4s. I do like this one in a pod system. I like running it at six instead of Nick salts. I normally run three milligrams, but on small pod systems, I use a six milligram free base. That's what I enjoy lately instead of Nick salts. Pop that little piece open there just like that. Stick your nozzle in and give it a squeeze. That's it, we're all filled up. Once it's all filled up, take your little plastic plug, pop it in there just like so. Look how nice you can see the liquid level. Now, I would recommend that you let this thing sit for a good 5 to 10 minutes. Maybe even give it a few dry pulls without installing it in the mod in order to get that coil to soak up that juice. Once you're all filled up, take your pod, pop it in there, give it five clicks, light comes on, and now you're ready to vape. All right, this is an adjustable wattage mod. One, two, three. See the blue light flashing? That means I'm at 8 watts. 1, 2, 3. See the green light flashing? That means I'm at 10 watts. Those are the only two settings. Okay? So I just wanted to show you that. That's the whole menu system. Here is your shorty micro USB cable for charging. One last look at it, all put together. All right, insiders, let's get into it. Let's get into the cons and the pros. First con is going to be, especially at this size, it's not drawer activated. It's push the button the vape. I don't like that. It's a con on a mod or a pod this size. Not a fan of those lights when you mm -hmm. vape on it. Here, let me see if you'll see it on camera. You see those blue lights? Why do I want lights while I'm vaping? What am I, a child? I just don't like lights. Lights are not my thing. I don't get it. You know, and if you are going to give me lights, I want the option to turn them off. I'm not a fan of lights. It's a con. It's schmutzy, man. This thing's a fingerprint magnet. That's a con. I mean, I, I, I hate even bringing it up, but one pod in the kit. Oh, man. Are you freaking serious, man? Give me a goddamn break. Do you even watch reviews? Watch a freaking vape review on any pod system that puts one pod in the kit, and you're going to see every reviewer gives it an automatic con. So what do you do? You release your first pod, and you put one pod in the kit. It's just stupid, man. I don't get it. I don't understand it. You guys need to get with the program. If you're going to start releasing pods, do it the right way. And the last con is going to be 
It's got a small fill port. It's a pain in the neck to fill up. That's it on the cons. Let's move on to the pros. It's got a few pros. First pro is gonna be, it feels like it's built well. It's got some nice build quality to it. That's a pro. I like the fact that it has two power settings. We'll give them a pro for that. Flavor on this one, it's okay. It's very middle of the road. It's nothing special, but it's not bad flavor. So we'll give them a pro. Same thing with the clouds. The clouds on this one are okay. Again, very middle of the road. It's not bad clouds. Let me show you what we're working with here. I mean, not bad. The flavor's not bad. It's nothing where I gotta run out and go buy this thing because it's got great flavor and clouds. I will say this, I do like the drawer on it. We'll give the drawer on it a pro. It does have a nice, smooth, even drawer to it. A very middle of the road, mouth to lung drawer. You know, maybe a little bit more towards the loose side than it is towards the tight side. It's not a bad drawer. It's, you know, it's got a smooth, even drawer to it. That's where I'll leave it. And that's it for the pros, man. And that's probably where, I, where I'd leave off on the whole review. This is just a very uninspired, very meh, very middle of the road type of pod system. There's nothing on it that separates it from the pack. You know, that's hard to do in such an oversaturated market. But you know, omir has been in this vape game a long time. They should have known that before they came to market with something like this. It's just very middle of the road. It's, it's no big shakes. My other issue with this is, are you even going to be able to find pods for this thing three or six months down the road? Is it going to sell enough where vape stores, online vape stores and vape shops are actually going to carry the pods for it? That's probably going to be an issue going forward because I don't see this thing as any world beater. You know, this is no Smoke Nord or anything like that. It's no UL Caliburn. You're not going to be able to find pods for this just anywhere a few months from now. So I got to point that out to my subs as well. Let's get into some of the specs on the Omir 01 pod. It measures in at 30.5 by 15 by 80.5 millimeters. It weighs in at 60 grams, made primarily of zinc alloy construction. It has a 650 milliamp hour battery. The pods hold 2 ml of juice. The charge time is 70 minutes from dead to full. It has a ceramic coil and it has two variable wattage settings at 8 and 10 watts. Thanks for watching the video, insiders. Definitely appreciate it. Remember, we're not a monetized channel, so we'd appreciate it if you check out our new merch store. You can get my tagline on a shirt like you see me wearing, or you can get it on a hoodie as well. We have some other great designs that you can put on a t-shirt or a hoodie. Here's another one of them, Vape King shirt. And here's one of my personal favorites, Vape So Hard, the FDA Wanna Find Me. Go over to our new store and check it out. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.